Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to look at how to play Synthesis Corp. And so we're going to look at um, the setup process, the cards, and then we're going to look at um, pretty much how each player takes their actions. And so we're just going to dive into it and look at the cards. Okay, so we're going to do the setup process. So each player gets five office politic cards two project cards, an influence tracker, three work tokens, and a memo token, and a player. So this is how you set the board to. You put each one of these cards next to the color, which is red, green, purple. And so, and each one has a little line that indicates what color they should be placed in. You put your office politic cards right there, your project cards, and that's pretty much how you set up the board. So next we're just gonna go through the cards and pretty much the actions. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the cards. So these are project cards. You can connect them with notes right here, or if you have it right here. this way, you can jump from this side to this side, sideways. They also have influence, which pretty much raises your company influence card. This one has three, this one has zero. Now, the zero allows you to move multiple spaces, which connects your notes, or you can sacrifice that for this one that has only two, but you gain three influence. And that's the project cards. Now we're going to look at your office politic cards. Here we have your office politic cards. So the cost is one influence. And as you move up the ladder, there's three. So if you want to get to the third one, you have to pay the one cost plus two, and you have to pay a card. So you have to have a double or a while to use it. So pretty much three influence plus a, you know, a double or pretty much a similar card or a while. This one has a question mark one. And so three influence, and then you can use it. Okay, let's look at the next card. This one stand in for someone reveals this card is now a wild that can be used towards the cost of other, even if they are not the same card. So this becomes a wild card. Report to HR, reveal and discard this at any time to cancel the effect. So this one allows you to cancel the effect of a player's card that can that just used. The cancellation is just discarded, but any cost is refunded. So you cancel the effect of another player's card, but they get their cost, which is by work hours, back. This one's work overtime. And so the cost is why they're one influence, two influence, you get a research, one, you get a place, three, you have to use three influence plus one card. And so you get to move one for this work day or four influence plus one card. Pretty much you get plus two hours for this work day. And then we have this one, race criticism. Reveal and discard this card when a Pretty much player moves to a project tile, they do not gain any influence for that you know tile. So pretty much the project cards. And so there's many different types of uh, office politic cards. Okay, now we're gonna look at the certificate. And you obtain these by getting to the bosses. So this one. There, and the green and red are different, but we'll just uh, cover the 
purple one. So for this one, once you obtain it, each player can only get one. So for this workday plus one uh, workday token spot specified for moving to the tile. So for this workday plus one workday token specified for research green. So and so pretty much they help you with different stuff. You get plus one workday token plus one sticky note token. Okay, so that's pretty much the cards. Next, we're just gonna look at how to play the game, the actions that each player could take. Okay, now we're gonna look at the actions each player can take. Okay, so you can place a card down or you can place this one. This one will probably um, be more beneficial. So I place that card, which is a project card. And so once you place it, you have to move your unused hours to place because you place a card. If you move, you move your unused hours to pretty much move. You can also, let me put this down, with your political cards, you pretty much could make a card wild. And so, this card would be wild, and then that would pretty much make your uh, data sheet, you have to use your unused hours and put it on your research. Okay, or you can play a card. Now these do not, cards do not use up hours, so you can pretty much use them at any time, as long as it's your turn. I mean, there are some cards that pretty much you are able to use when your opponent is, you know, taking action. Like the one that pretty much blocks the opponent from using a card. Okay, now we're gonna look at how, here, we'll try to find a project card that, so if, if there's a project card right here and there's no sticky notes, what you can do is place a sticky note memo token in between, which allows you to move to that pretty much project card. There's also, if you are not, if you don't have any uh, sticky notes, what you do is you use the you use up your unused hours. So if you pretty much, let's say um, it's your new turn. So if I want a sticky note and I don't have any, I could just use my unused hour and get another sticky note. Now, like I said, the only way to get influence is pretty much you have to use your project cards and project card have influence. And so like if I move right here, right here, I would get one influence. Now, if I have multiple cards and I moved, now each time you move, you remember you have to move your unused hours, but I'm just showing this. Okay, so if you moved here, you get three influence. If you move back, you get another one. So you can move, you can use your unused hours and just move back and forth to uh, obtain multiple influence. So that's a, a thing you could do in the game. And pretty much, and once you start, once all your characters are, have moved on from the performance review, you pretty much turn this. Actually, it would be new higher orientation. So pretty much that's how you play the game. You have to just constantly move and then you have to, the first person to get to all three bosses and back wins the game. So I hope this video helps you in learning how to play the game. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And my social media is down below. And see you in the next video.